Hello everyone, welcome to Yellow Pages Nursing. In today's video, we will be discussing about CAR-T, that is catheter-associated urinary tract infection. Before entering into the session, if you have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe our channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Let's get into the topic. What is an UTI? An urinary tract infection is an infection in the urinary system, which includes kidneys, which filters the blood to make urine, the ureters, which pass urine from the kidneys to the bladder, the bladder, which stores the urine, and the urethra, where urine exits the body. Indications for urinary catheterization Urinary catheterization is indicated in cases of urinary retention that may be acute or chronic. In case of accurate measurement of urinary output, that is for patients with renal failure and for hemodynamically unstable cases, in case of perioperative management, where patients are posted for surgery during preoperative, intraoperative, and postoperative period, in case of trauma or critically ill patients, in case of altered sensorium or unconscious patients, and in case of palliative care or end of life care. Now, what is urinary catheter? A urinary catheter is a thin tube placed in the bladder to drain urine. Urine drains through the tube and gets collected into your bag. It is simply called as Foley's catheter. Now, what do we mean by COTI? An UTI in a patient who had an indwelling urinary catheter which is in place at the time of or within 48 hours prior to infection onset. Remember, there is no minimum period of time that the catheter must be in place in order for the UTI to be considered catheter associated. Next comes risk factors for developing catheter associated urinary tract infection. Prolonged catheterization, errors in catheter insertion, female gender or old age, diabetes, immunocompromised patients, renal dysfunction, quality of catheter care, orthopedic and neurology service. Next comes pathogenesis of COTI. Based on the route of entry of microbes, it is classified as extraluminal and intraluminal. Let's look into it one by one. Microbes may ascend into the urinary tract through the external or internal surface of the catheter, which may be extraluminal and intraluminal. Microorganisms colonize the external catheter surface, most often creating a biofilm. Bacteria tend to ascend early after catheter insertion. This may be due to lack of asepsis during the catheter insertion. Bacteria can also ascend 1 to 3 days after catheterization, usually due to capillary action. Next is intraluminal. Bacteria tend to be introduced when opening the closed urinary drainage systems. Microbes ascend from the urine collection bag into the bladder via reflex. Biofilm formation occurs and damage to bladder mucosa facilitates biofilm on this surface. Next, common pathogens which causes catheter-associated urinary tract infections are Escherichia coli, Klebsiella pneumoniae, Proteus mirabilis, Enterococcus fecium, Enterococcus fecalis, Acinetobacter baumani, Pseudomonas aeruginosa, Candida species, etc. Next comes signs and symptoms of catheter associated urinary tract infection fever and rigor, altered mental status, acute hematuria, cloudy and foul smelling urine, flank or pelvic pain, suprapubic tenderness, costovertebral angle pain or tenderness, malaise. If catheter is removed, dysuria, frequency, urgency, suprapubic pain, or tenderness may occur. Next comes diagnostic criteria for CORTI. This includes clinical signs of urinary tract infection, pyuria that is pus in the urine, urinalysis and culture and sensitivity where patient has a urine culture with no more than two species of organisms. For more details, you can refer CDC. Next comes management of catheter-associated urinary tract infection. COTI is managed by empiric therapy with antibiotics. Now comes prevention of catheter-associated urinary tract infection. COTI bundle, 
Bundle is a set of evidence-based interventions related to disease process that when executed together results in better outcomes than when implemented individually. Corti Care Bundle consists of Insertion Care Bundle and Maintenance Care Bundle. First comes Insertion Care Bundle. Check the clinical indication for catheterization. Choose catheters of appropriate size proper hand hygiene and wear personal protective equipments appropriately, follow aseptic non-touch techniques, use sterile items and equipments, and use a closed drainage system. Next comes maintenance care bundle. Performing hand hygiene before and after accessing catheter, performing catheter care aseptically, Review the necessity of catheter regularly and remove it immediately when it is no longer needed. Maintain unobstructed urinary outflow, which means there should be no kinks, twists or loops in the tubing. The urinary drainage back tube should come freely from the Foley catheter without any obstruction. Urine back should be below the bladder level. The main reason is to prevent black flow and ensure the gravity. Secure the catheter on tie without kinking of the tube. Maintain a closed drainage system at all times. This is because a closed system prevents contamination and possible pathogens from entering the bladder. Empty the urinary drainage bag regularly and keep the bag under 3 foot full at all times. Use individual containers for each patient to collect the urine. Do not let the drainage pipe to touch the container or floor. So far, we have discussed about the insertion care and maintenance care bundle. In each institution, there is separate insertion care bundle checklist and maintenance care bundle checklist and follow according to the institutional policies. There is a strong correlation with CORTIS and an increased risk of morbidity, mortality, healthcare costs and increased hospitalization. Sometimes it becomes a potentially life-threatening hospital-acquired infection and CORTI can even lead to bloodstream infections. So here you go with CORTI. If you find this video useful, please like it, share it and subscribe it and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. If you have any suggestions on topics to be discussed, please mention on the comment box. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.